Every drop counts. This is well known to Joza residents. The township has been without water in the past, but not all residents feel the heat. Mama Mavis, who has been living there for more than 50 years, is one of the lucky few with the water tank outside her house. We went to the councillor, the ward councillor, and we tell him that the community needs water, there's no water in the depths. So we, she must ask from the municipality to send us a Georgia tank. Then he brings it. Last of last month, we didn't have water for two weeks, two and a half weeks. Just a few weeks ago, almost 40,000 residents in Joseph Township had no water. But the root of the problem runs deep. The addition of Fugani location, extensions 8, 9 and now 10, is partly the source of the water cuts. The houses that are further up the hill get less water. This is because of the poor pressure coming from the pipes. President Zuma has spoken about the nationwide water problem since last year. He promises that taps will never run dry. This is where the tanks come in. Ndisi Boma, the municipality spokesperson, says that the water tanks are a temporary intervention to the water problem in Joza. Some Joza residents have welcomed the tanks. <laughs> it's not a tank. This tank has helped us because we didn't have water. Even for toilets, we are able to get water. This tank has been helping us. We want it again. When there is no water, we come and get it here. But does everyone feel the same way? I wish the problem of water could be sorted. You know, otherwise, really it's a problem. And using this water, some, like for the kids, it's dangerous. We had to boil them. You know? A permanent solution to the water problem lies in the pipeline. But for now, the tanks have come to the rescue. Reporting from Joza, Samantha Lewis, RUTV, Grahamstown.